Good morning. It is, what is, this is Wednesday. Oh, the days just do sort of start to run together sometimes. Uh, um, yes. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm getting ready to ship off what I sold yesterday. This is one of my favorite necklaces that I have ever seen. I just love the look of it and that beautiful piece of turquoise. And uh, that sold for 65 and to the same person I sold this um, exotic Coins of the World charm bracelet from the mid-century era. And that sold for 27 29 28 I just looked at it. Um, Right around in there. And then uh, someone was interested in just in buying this piece of mother of pearl to do some jewelry repair. And so I sold that for 19 And all this is free shipping. So, and that is it for today. Good morning. It is Thursday. And I'm getting ready to be a guest on Thelma Thrift's channel, so I'm really excited about that. That's one of my favorite YouTube channels, Thelma Thrift. She has beautiful, beautiful designer handbags and lots of really gorgeous clothing. I love her taste. Anyway, um, okay, I'm just going to show you real quick what I have to pack up today and, and, and send off. Uh, sold this leaded glass lampshade, and that sold for $48. And these are all free shipping, by the way. It's going to cost quite a bit to ship that. Uh, and this is a an antique printing block, and that sold, I believe, for thirty-eight. And I sold this uh, Mexican dress, embroidered dress, which I just listed yesterday, and that sold for seventy-two dollars and this magnificent sterling silver pillbox. Just really exquisite silver work on this. I sold that for 67 I wasn't going to let that go cheap. It was just so beautifully done. And I also just sold this hand-painted pitcher for $37. Um, and the buyer is coming to pick that up in person. Good morning. It is Friday morning, and I guess Friday's casual day for me because I am in my old <laughs> Walker Texas Ranger T-shirt, which I've had for God knows how long. I uh, I was an extra on that show, I think for about nine different episodes. Um, if you don't know the show, it starred Chuck Norris. It was really hokey. <laughs> it was it was shot in Dallas. And um, since I live there, it was one of the few ongoing TV productions in Dallas. And a friend of mine was doing extras casting, and she recruited me, and I really enjoyed it. That's how I got into acting in the first place. It was really fun. Um, met Chuck Norris, and he was really nice. And I have to say, everybody just loved him. He was a very nice, very professional actor, even though a lot of people didn't think he was a very good actor. I, I, um... I enjoyed working with him. He was a really, really nice guy. So anyway, that's the story of me and Walker, Texas Ranger. I have my cast and crew t-shirt that I've had since I think the 90s, maybe was when I was doing that. Maybe it was later than that. Anyway, uh, so I'm here to show you what I listed yesterday and what I sold. Just have one little thing going out this morning. So here we go. I'll show you what I listed first. Um, I listed, I took these two little bells that I got, and these are nice, older cloisonne. There's a red one and a blue one, and I turned them into earrings. Of course, you can just remove the hooks if you don't like the earrings. And then I paired them with the little uh, cloisonne heart necklace. This is a little bit newer cloisonne, but I thought they would look cute together. And I listed those for 24 and this is all free shipping. And then I, I listed this um, faux pearl and rhinestone rondelle. I just learned that word, or relearned it. I used to know it and forgot it. 
uh, anyway, pretty little necklace, and that's 19. It's not marked. It's probably uh, 1960s. And then this picture frame, which is really unusual. It looks like art, uh, like Murano glass. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it is some kind of hand-blown art glass embellishments on a clear glass frame. And it's got this um, clear or um, white plexiglass sort of backing on it. Cool frame. Um, I listed that for 39 and then this pillow cover that my sister-in-law made, which is really so pretty. This is a batik. It's all made from vintage textile scraps. This is like a, a raw silk. And then the other side is, you know, completely different look, so it's a very versatile pillow cover. These are all um, like hand-woven. These feel like wool these little pieces and then I think these are cotton. They all look and feel hand woven. I don't know exactly what they are. But anyway, um, I listed that for 65. We'll see how that goes. Um, she works really hard on it. I just, I don't want to give her short shrift. So that's hard work putting that together. Oh, I didn't see that. Back a little better look that up. I didn't even notice that before. Okay. Um, and then the thing that I sold, something that I just listed yesterday, was um, this lot of bracelets. This was really a bargain. It was um, $19 for all four. And this is a nice inlaid alpaca Mexican little uh, mid-century rhinestone stretch bracelet. This, this Napier segmented bracelet, really nice one. Probably should have sold that on its own, but eh, I didn't. <laughs> I put them all together, so 19 for that. And uh, that's it for this morning. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting ready to show you what I listed yesterday and what I am shipping off today. So here it goes. Um, I listed this gigantic handmade needle lace tablecloth. If you want to see this tablecloth in all its glory, you can look at the amazing textiles videos I did. Video I did not too long ago, fairly recently, with my sister-in-law Amelia, who is the one who acquired this at a uh, rummage sale, and uh, she spreads it all out and talks about how wonderful and special it is. And uh, I listed that. All of this is free shipping, and I listed this one for seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. She was she was thinking I should be able to get a thousand for it. I thought that might have been reaching a little bit. We'll see. Um, the other one that I have that's similar to this, I have not sold yet. So um, you know, I might be reaching a little bit with the price, but it is pretty special when you see the size of it, and you think about the skill and the hours that went into making this. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so then I listed this Weiss Japaned Black Rhinestone brooch and that I listed for 36 And uh, this is the smaller of the two scarabs I got in the eBay lot. And uh, this one is made from faience pottery, which is a type of earthenware with a nice shiny glaze on the top and the hieroglyphics on the bottom and I just put it on a silver plated chain just to make it where you could wear it right away if you wanted to but you could also take it off and use it in some other project and the scarab I listed for nineteen dollars and I listed this lucite and gold metal belt, which was pretty cool. That I listed for 28 And, oh yes, wait. This book, ugh, sorry, my camera strap's in the way. Um, this book, I found out, is a first edition, which is pretty cool. And it's in really beautiful condition. So I asked 48 for that, 
which some people, I saw one person asking over $100 for it, and it wasn't even in this good a shape. But there seem to be a lot of these on the market, but most of them are not first editions, but they look very similar, same type, with the same cover. Oh, also in the designer of this cover is a famous Art Nouveau artist, Margaret, hmm, I've forgotten her name now. It's in the listing anyway, but that's cool. And I think that is everything I got listed yesterday. And uh, I sold this necklace. And this is I'm shipping off today. I sold that for $19. It's really pretty. I like how this looks.